Inside this video, we will review what SPSS is and what it's used for, the two main windows in SPSS, including the data editor and the output viewer, and the menu options in SPSS. By the end of this video, you will have a basic understanding of the SPSS environment. Let's begin. SPSS, or the Statistical Package for the Social Sciences, is a statistical software program that can analyze your data in three basic ways. First, it allows you to describe your data using descriptive statistics. Examples of this include frequencies, mean, minimum, max, and standard deviation. It also allows you to examine the relationship between variables in your data. Examples of statistical techniques to explore relationships include correlation analysis, regression, and factor analysis. Finally, SPSS enables you to compare groups using t-test, analysis of variance, and non-parametric statistics. When you first open up SPSS, you will see what is called the data editor. Okay, The data editor is where you create variables, you enter data, and you carry out statistical functions. All right. Now, you will notice that there are two tabs in the data editor, the data view tab and the variable view tab. The first tab is the data view. This is used for entering data as well as viewing data in the data editor. The rows represent the individual cases and the individual cases can be people, businesses, states, countries, what have you. Okay. The columns represent the particular variables in your data file. Okay. So let me give you an example. In the world95.sav file that comes with um, SPSS, at least the later versions of SPSS, the first variable, because these are all variables, the first variable is the country. Okay, And each case is represented as an individual or separate country. Now, for Afghanistan, the predominant religion is Muslim the average life expectancy for the females is 44 the average life expectancy for males is 45 okay the second tab as I mentioned before is the variable view the variable view is used to create and define various characteristics of variables here the row represents individual variables and the columns represent the specific characteristics of those variables okay so let's look at our world 95.sav file as an example now row one is the country variable row two is religion row three is average female life expectancy column one is the name column two is the type column three is the width of that particular variable I'd like to quickly review the menus in SPSS now I say quickly because I'm going to review each of these or most of these in far more detail in upcoming video tutorials okay so let's begin with the file menu now the file menu contains the standard options that you would see in other Windows programs such as save print open new and so on and so forth okay the edit menu is another standard menu where you can cut copy and paste also, you can edit SPSS preferences by clicking on the Options button here. View here is where you can indicate if you want to see grid lines or display value labels. Now, right now, grid lines is not on, but if I click that, then you can see or should be able to see the grid lines. So under Data, this menu allows us to make changes to the data editor you can insert variables you can insert cases split the file and select cases again we will discuss these in more detail in future video tutorials 
we have the transform menu which is used when you want to manipulate one of your variables in some way the analyze menu is where all of these statistical procedures are located we will go into what each of these statistical options do when I show you how to run the various statistical analyses in other video tutorials okay now the graph menu is used when you only want to produce graphs without running any analysis and again I will show you how to do that in another video tutorial utilities is used when you have production jobs or you want to obtain information about the variables in your file okay now add-ons is a menu that is used when you have or when you've purchased a analytical module that doesn't come with SPSS are sold separately so if you purchase a an additional module for SPSS you would actually run it under the add-ons menu now the Windows menu allows you to switch between Windows as you pretty much know and the help obviously is help okay the second major window is the output viewer this is simply where the results of any analysis appear including charts built with the chart builder so if we go to the world95.sav file and run frequencies on average female life expectancy we will see what is produced in the output viewer okay so let's go to world95.sav we run analyze descriptive statistics and then frequency we then select the particular variable or variables we'd like to see frequencies for and then we make sure that display frequency tables is checked we go to statistics we select the measures of central tendency that we're interested in we click continue next we go to charts we select bar chart click continue and then click OK as you can see the output viewer is broken into two parts the left side contains an outline or menu pane which gives you a full list of all the analysis you performed you can use this side to quickly navigate your way around your output so if you want to see the bar chart you want to see the frequency table or the summary table you can just simply click on one of those okay on the right side of the viewer are the results of your analysis which can include tables charts and graphs the first thing we see is the syntax statement this is a written record of the executed command next we have the name and path of the active data set which is world 95.sav following that we have the summary table which contains the total number of cases in each variable along with the mean median and mode so in this example there are 109 cases in the average female life expectancy variable the mean is 70.16 the median is 74 and the mode is 75 okay next we have the frequency table which tells you the number of times each value occurs for this variable and the corresponding total percentage that this number represents okay so for example there are four women with an age of 58 these four women represent a total of 3.7 percent of the total now you always want to look at the valid percent because the percent column takes into account all values including missing okay whereas the valid percent excludes the missing values and calculates the percentage based on cases that have data okay and then finally over here you have the cumulative per the cumulative percentage which is simply the additive percentage from the smallest value to the largest value and this is always going to equal 100 percent okay and then finally we have the bar chart which gives you a graphical representation of the value frequencies for this variable okay so basically this is a graphical representation of the frequencies column here okay so as you notice the numbers increase as the age increase the number of frequencies increase and we see that here okay 
SPSS is a statistical software program that allows you to analyze your data in three basic ways. You can describe your data using descriptive statistics. You can examine the relationships between your data using correlations and multiple regressions. Or you can compare groups using t-test, analysis of variance, or non-parametric test. Additionally, there are two main windows in SPSS, the Output Viewer and the Data Editor, which consist of a data view and the variable view.